Welcome to iLecture Online. I remember a long time ago when I was in second grade, I was kind of a difficult kid in class and the teacher often had to punish me. And one of the punishments I received was I had to go home and write down all the multiplication tables, all 10. But I misinterpreted that and I thought that the teacher told me that I had to write every table 10 times. So I went home and started writing and had to write every table 10 times. I remember it took me an entire afternoon. But you know what? Even though it was punishment, it was probably one of the best things that teacher could have done for me. And having me misinterpreted it, having to write each table, table 10 times, I really got to know the multiplication tables really well. I liked numbers when I was a little kid. And one of the things that I also did when I was young like that, I always wondered what it would be like to keep doubling the number two. And it's actually not a bad thing to memorize all those numbers, at least up to a certain extent. Of course, it can go on forever. But what happens when you double the number two? Well, you get number four. Double that, you get eight. Double eight, you get 16. Double 16, you get 32. Double 32, you get 64. Double 64, you get 128. Double 128, you get 256. Double 256, you get 512. Double 512, you get 1,024. Now let's explore those numbers just a little bit more. 4 is really 2 times 2. And 16 is 4 times 4. And 32, or actually let's go to 64, 64 is 8 times 8. And 256 is 16 times 16. And 1024, hmm, let's see, what's that equal to? Is it 32 times 32? Well, for sure, when you multiply the last two numbers together, you get a 4, and that's what this is. And 16, uh, 32 is twice 16. Notice the pattern. 8 is twice 4. 4 is twice 2. 32 is twice 16. We skip every other number, and I bet you that is the correct answer. You can give it a try and see what happens. But remembering these doubling numbers, starting with 2, then 4, then 8, then 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, and 1024. It's actually a really good thing if you did that. Also notice that 64, which is 8 times 8, can also be written as 4 times 4 times 4. And 256 can be written as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And 1024 can be written as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Wow, things can get quite interesting, can't they, when you start playing around with numbers. But again, I would recommend that you remember these, maybe not all the way up to 1024, but if nothing else, at least this column, and if you're adventurous, go all the way and memorize those numbers. Anytime you double a number, you get the next number like that, 2 doubled is 4, 4 doubled is 8, 8 doubled is 16, and so forth. Why do we do that? Because we want to become comfortable with the numbers and understanding quickly what those, those kind of multiplications are. It only helps us understand and get our hands around kind of all the numbers and multiplications that we need to, so then when we're faced with them, it's just easy for us. That's what it's all about.